Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans. We are from the frosty north home of high percentage beer and legalized cannabis. It is Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proven Grounds next. Stone Road Open Group 4 Round 1. And we got a doozy for you this time, folks. You know, just because uh, math didn't add up there on the mail ends, we're going to do six vehicles for you this time. And there's still builders from around the world bringing you some of the top names in Diecast Racing and they are going to put it to the Stone Road today. First round action, and it's going to be an epic episode today, folks. So let's get up to the top. It's Stone Road Open Group 4. Vehicles. Numskull from Numskull Racing, driving the Dodge D200. Dari Cast Racing legend Numskull. He's always got sweet looking builds and he has been checking out the Stone Road because he has brought to the table the D200 crew cab dodge jacked weight up he's got lots of weight inside there lots of thinking going into this one Let's see how it does speedball herman from team gravity throttle racing driving the jeep wrangler the matchbox rendition of the jeep wrangler and it is jacked folks look at that and it's got weights on it it's got some calculator action going on in there we got some special instructions to move the weights around for the second round gravity throttle racing always putting thinker on let's check it out steve chase from chase family racing driving the dodge power wagon all right, folks, more diecast racing royalty here as we got the Chase family racing here with their Dodge Power Wagon. Good thing they brought a Power Wagon because the Jeeps got their asses kicked in the last round. Anyways, this thing has got a sweet looking paint job. It is heavy, and so it should do real good. Giorgio from Team G-Force Racing driving the Land Rover. Well, would you look at this cute little guy. Anyways, G-Force Racing, and we almost lost this one in the mail, folks, but here he is. He's going to be up in the final six with the only majorette in the competition, and it seems like it is completely stock with a little bit of extra paint. Uh, well, we know where this one's going. Baby Cookie from Junkyard Joust, driving the Ford Bronco. All right, the Ford Bronco, and this is the one premium vehicle that we got in the Stone Road this time, folks, and it's coming in from the legendary channel, Junkyard Joe's, who's got Baby Cookie going to take this thing down the Stone Road for his first run, and it looks awesome. All right. Sisters of the Heavy Metal from Team Dr. Dodge, driving the camper van Smoker. Well, it looks like we get all sorts here, folks, and this is going to be Dr. Dodges and his Team Sisters of the Heavy Metal coming down with the barbecue on the back of a custom camper van. Now, look at this thing. There's a whole backstory behind this thing. We're going to link that in the description, folks, but it's going to be interesting. They are going up against the Stone Road Challenge, the heavy off-road course here at the Igloo Proving Grounds, folks. It is 150 centimeters of rocks, curves, logs, and there is the bonus section at the bottom. I'm sure you've heard all this before, and there's the same point system as the rest of the rounds. But what we will tell you now is that they still got the beauty competition going on over on the main channel. And uh, we've got round one is still got landlines with the F483 for group one group. Group two, we had a tie on the last check, and this time we've got Shoddy in the D100 is taking a slight lead there. And group three is still being owned by James Ironbeard in the Toyota. So get over there and vote, and now let's get on with it. Right, right, right. All right, getting this thing on the stone road. We got Numskull leading the pack in that Dodge D200. First one down tonight, and it's gone. He's off the line, and he's up on top of that. That thing is fast. It's got a wide wheelbase. It made it over top of the logs and flew out the other side. Almost off the chart. It looked like he might be off the end of the scale at the end there. Grabbed the brakes. Didn't have any rollback. Made an excellent 6.35 fast time. Top down, bottom up cam coming right to the very end of 
the scale right up to the lens there, folks. Bonus distance of 26 centimeters. What a way to kick off the first round tonight, setting the benchmark high. Checking out the Igloo replay. He's on top of that. Got some good clearance on those wheels. Gets a little sideways through the deep stuff, but just floors right through it. Doesn't even feel the logs. And he is all the way out the other side. Grabs the binders and holds it there. Numbskull, 6.35 time and 26 centimeters. Right, right, two. two. A ball Herman for Gravity Throttle Racing going to be taking down that Jeep on the first run. Hopefully this Jeep does better than the ones they did in the last run. Here he is. He's up on top of it. That thing's got big fat tires and set up. And he's through the logs. No problem. Comes out the bottom with a 6.67 time. That was almost evil, folks. And that thing looked awesome all the way down. And he's got a good bonus distance out the end there. You have to check that thing out. That's a nice looking paint job on that Jeep coming down. And it performed awesome. There's the Top down, bottom up, replay down into the sand trap at the bottom. Checking out the bonus distance of 21.5 centimeters. They're calling it for the Jeep Wrangler. Speedball Herman in there from Gravity Throttle Racing. If you haven't heard of Gravity Throttle Racing, folks, then you need to finish watching this video. Then pull your head out of the dirt and look at the rest of the diecast racing world. And check out the channel over at Gravity Throttle Racing because they have got some excellent race action. And you might as well check out like 905 Diecast, maybe Gripen Sold. There's all sorts. Anyways, there it is. Gravity Throttle Racing out the bottom. Speedball Herman in the Jeep Wrangler. Full enough 6.67 time and 21.5 centimeters. Not bad. Run, run three. three. Steve Chase, Chase Family Racing, going to be taking that Dodge Power Wagon, and this thing looks amazing. Look at how big that thing is. That paint job looks great, and he's down. That thing is fast. He's bouncing around, holding on to it, down over top of the logs. I think he was on two wheels, coming over top of the line with a 6.02 time, which is fast. That's really fast. That's not bad at all. And he came down into the trap and got a good bonus distance out the end there, too. It looks top down, bottom up, Cam. He's bouncing that thing all over the place and look at that Jenny Winely up on two wheels over top of the finish line to do a little bit of pimping there 22.5 centimeters they're calling the bonus distance out the end what an awesome looking run that was and what an awesome looking power wagon Chase family racing Steve Chase and he is up on top of there throwing the rocks all over the place getting some air off the tires then here here it is watch this over top of the line gets it up on the deuce holds it there slams it down over top of the line into the trap we could run in that power wagon getting a 6.02 time and 22.5 centimeters right right four Giorgio in the Land Rover coming in from G-Force Racing. This is the only majorette in the competition, and it is very, very stock, folks. Let's see how he does. It is very light. We can give it that much, and he's down on top of it for a certain amount of time, and then he gets into the deeper stuff, and looks like it's sunk right there. Maybe a little bit of clearance, and the uh, stock majorette does have some suspension in there, but it's uh, not really set up for the stone road. Let's check out some bottom-down top-up, Kim, and uh, maybe some focus there. The cameraman's getting that one together apparently coming in at about 89 centimeters that's what they're calling it there for the dnf giorgio from g-force racing all right maybe you haven't been watching the channel very much knowing that uh getting some kind of modification in your vehicle and maybe trying to cut a little bit of clearance out the bottom of that thing is very helpful when it comes to the stone road but Counting on the lightweight could have been the game plan. Not exactly sure, but anyways, didn't make it all the way down. We got a DNF and 89 centimeters for Giorgio. Right on five. five. Baby Cookie from Junkyard Joust going to be taking down that Ford Bronco. This thing's pretty much stock, but it is a premium with the rubber tires. Got some good weight, and there she goes. She's up on top of it, trying to hold on to it. It's like it's plowing it. It's digging down, and it sinks right when it gets into the deep section there. Right after the 80 centimeters, almost up to 90 centimeters. Not sure, but there's a DNF. First run, Baby Cookie in that Junkyard Joust Ford Bronco coming down. Looks like we got some action up on top. Not looking too bad and then just start sinking, start sinking from about halfway down, 
trying to push through it. Looks like we got 88.5 centimeters. That's going to be what it is for the Ford Bronco on that run. All right, baby cookie on that one. Got to get over there and check out the Junkyard Joe's channel. Another one of those channels that, you know, you are born under a rock if you are in the diecast racing world and haven't checked that one out. We'll have all the links downstairs in, in the description at the end of the video. And there it is right there, round number one for baby cookie. And she wasn't able to get down to the bottom. Gets an 88.5 centimeter run. And uh, that's going to be it. Run, 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 six. Six. All right, we've been waiting for this one, folks. It is the Sisters of the Heavy Metal driving the Dr. Dodge Monstrosity Frankenstein put together a van here with the barbecue on the back, and it is going. It is wheeling all the way down. They hear stuff getting clashed around. It's making it over top of the logs. It's throwing logs at the stand. This thing was crazy. Look at that. And it made it with a 9.49 time. It's sitting down here at the bottom, and apparently there is a brisket cooking in the back. They had the time all mixed up today here we go top down bottom up can it is sideways it is almost backwards it is everywhere it is throwing logs all over the place and it still makes it to the bottom with a 12 centimeter bonus distance wow and uh apparently the brisket is okay they got some inspectors down there checking it out maria did an excellent job holding that what would you call it? It is the camper van, 4x4. Look at the articulation in the back of that. Whole bunch of modifications on this van. It looks like it's been chopped. It's been cut out on the bottom. It's been hogged out in the wheel wells. It's floating back and forth. And it's got that wicked barbecue smoker on the back and we're going to be munching up on that right after we're done here there it was dr dodge maria driving for the sisters of the heavy metal a 9.49 time 12 centimeter bonus distance all right first round results dumb skull comes out with two points for getting the longest distance out of the end there speedball herman ended up 6.67 time gets him one point steve chase gets the fastest time of the round with 6.02 Giorgio was a DNF, Baby Cookie was a DNF, and then Dr. Dodge coming in there with a 9.49 full run and 12 centimeters. There's that sweet looking Matchbox Volvo wagon going to get mailed out soon. Guess where that's going? Group 4 Round 1 Review. Well, the first three trucks did amazing numbskull, and then we had Speedball Herman from Gravity Throttle Racing, hint, hint, and then there was Steve Chase from Chase Family Racing doing it with some style over then. Then we had Giorgio from G-Force Racing. When things started to slow down, he ended up not making it, and same with Baby Cookie from Junkyard Joust. That was a bummer run. Then there was Dr. Dodge and the sisters from Heavy Metal delivering the brisket at the bottom. We all want some of that. Beaverworks International, Gryphon sold Diecast. They got the Aloha Invitational Pro-Am, and Beaverworks got a pair of Camaros in on that, and we are working on it, trying to do a good job, and ended up not getting it over top of the Audis. They ended up beating us, but there was this last run right here where we came from the back and ended up scooping a victory on the very last lap. We got a tendency of doing that, apparently. Anyways, didn't quite make it through to the semis. Ended up with 16 points, but check out the rest of that series over at Gripe and Soul Diecast Motorsports, Custom Carnage 2 over at the MCM Rick's Diecast. D-Man here putting down some laps in that sweet looking Mustang coming out of the custom shop. It's got extra weight and the suspension inside of it. We did a pretty good job coming down out of this corner here, including this last race right here where exactly the opposite. We were had the lead and then ended up getting passed at the last minute. Kid taking third place, but that was still good enough to get the second chance round and we're looking forward to that. And then off back to Canada at 905 Diecast, a super-sized supercars in Beaverworks has got that jack mud clear, and we've run it down the stone road here before, and it did a great race here at the end. It was enough to get into the top 12 or top 10, not sure. 21 points all together, and that series is going to keep rolling on, and we'll keep following up over at 905 Diecast, super-sized supercars. How's it going, everybody? Lester here, and I'm with Lance, and we got Dr. Dodge's camper van smoker here, and what a piece of work. Lots of amazing mods, and it just cooked dinner on the way down. And what a wild ride it was to watch that come down, and it smelled yummy, too. Giorgio is pretty much the exact opposite with a relatively stock entry, and uh, it looks cute, though, with all the stripes. 
And then you got the legend, Baby Cookie from Junkyard Juice with the premium rubber tire Ford Bronco. Clarence issues with these on the stock ride height have always been known to slow them down. Hopefully she just gets on the gas and pulls it off next round. Back down to you, voice. Thanks, Lance and Lester from the top of the mountain giving us that update. Steve Chase from Chase Family Racing is your current points leader. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we've got all of our TikTok and Facebook updates you can check out. This week's episode was brought to you by the Beaver Works Race Shop and this was a special one this week. We've got the five car team going on back down to the next round in Junkyard Joust. There they are right there. We've got some of the old team. We've got a new member. Gonna check that out at the Junkyard Joust YouTube channel. And there you have it folks, group four, round number one is taken care of and in the books. Round number two is gonna be coming up next. Don't forget to vote for your favorite looking car over on the main page. Until then, thanks for all you good folks for coming out to check out our stuff from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We will see you next time. <laughs>